All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to scan and repair your games inside of the Blizzard Games Launcher. Let's say you're playing, I don't know, Overwatch 2, and for whatever reason, you're starting to get some weird graphical glitches, you're having trouble staying connected, some, something's going on with your, your game, maybe it doesn't even launch. One way that you can sort of suss out what's wrong with it is double checking that everything that's installed is currently actually correct. So to scan and repair problems with your games, all you have to do is find them in the tabs here at the top. And then here under play, if it's installed, you have this gear. And inside this gear is things like uninstalling your game, modifying the install to change languages, checking for updates, but what we want is the scan and repair tool. And that will basically allow us to scan through all of the game files for Overwatch and see if there's something broken or missing that we need to re-download in order for the game to run correctly. Uh, this is a tool that sort of kind of works, kind of doesn't for literally every game that you try it on. Usually if there is a file that's so blatantly broken and corrupted that this detects it, you're probably not going to be able to launch your game in the first place. That said, if that's your problem, this might be the key to fixing what's wrong with it. Now, this won't find all problems that are wrong with your game files. There can still be a lot of things that are broken that it won't detect. And if that's the case, the easiest solution for most games to figure out what's wrong with them if you think it is a technical issue, something's broken when you updated it or whatever, you should just go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game. And that's a good way to see what's going on with it. And uh, as you can see, mine's actually not taking that long in order to scan through all of the files, but I am also running on a very modern set of SSDs. So that will affect how fast this scans. If you're running on an older standard hard drive with a spinning disk, this will take a lot longer than if you're running it on a solid state drive. And it's nice that it shows you right here at the bottom, the progress in case anything needs to be downloaded. Now, if it does need to download something, which it looks like mine doesn't, it'll tell you that it's downloading the missing components down here at the bottom in the same spot that the status of the scan was being shown. So you'll know immediately if something's wrong because they like to tell you if it's playable or not inside the Blizzard launcher. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to scan your files for repairs and all that stuff. And I will catch you next time. Bye everybody and have a good one.